Can you guess where we are? We have waterfalls, tons of biodiversity. Huh, is that a weka? Do you know it yet? It's the deepest sound around. It's not Milford sound, it's doubtful sound. And most of the time, it looks like this. Now as the climate warms, light showers have swelled into storms, putting livelihoods at risk. Obviously, we've got to do something, or else. Let's get ready to explore Doubtful Sound's watery depths for its ancient clues. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right. This is one sensor that we have. Um, and in oceanography, we, we typically refer to these types of instruments as CTDs. Okay, so this is Chris. He's the brain of the operation. He and his partner Christina are both climate scientists and make a great team. They're passionate educators and know their work is a key component in combating climate change. But they can't battle alone. When I moved to, to Chile in 2003, 2004, I really benefited from a network that, um, that was established there. Now, why Chile? That's far as. Actually, it's geographically very similar. In fact, some of the environments are so similar you can hardly tell them apart. I mean, look. But they say beauty comes with a price. A price that these two countries also share. The problems are severe but many hands make light work. With the support of the Latin American Cape, Chris's vision of reviving a Kiwi-Chilean connection is coming alive. They spend some money on a plane ticket and get going. But no, of course. But because of these challenges, we've had new opportunities arise that we probably didn't consider in the beginning. Have you heard of a Chiwi? It's what we call a Chilean living in New Zealand. Hello. I'm Maddie. Good to meet you. Plenty of young Chileans here reached out wanting to be part of the winds of change. Los Vientos del Cambio. Chris selected 19 Chiwis and Kiwis and brought them to where they began their adventure. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. Great to see you. I'm glad you're here. So we're here at the University of Otago in Dunedin. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the drive across Southland to Lake Manapuri. Get on a ferry at Lake Manapuri, cross it, and then get on another coach, which can go down to Deep Cove oh my God. to meet the vessel. Some say the journey is the destination, but we're just about to get started. With us on board, we have... My name is Jenny Steen. I study geology and science communication. So those are the little instruments. One measures the pH, one measures the salinity, one measures the pressure. She studies how to make the science lingo less of a mystery to the public, but not everyone here is Jenny. So what does it take to turn lines into language, foreign to familiar, this bunch into a team? My name is Paula. My background is in sustainable tourism. We can relate quite easily between each other because we are all coming from different aspects looking at the same purpose. So they got their communication going. The translator's at work. Now they need to start pulling into the same direction. Otherwise, well, our mission will fail. Okay, put on the cheesy music. We're not gonna let that happen. Driven by a shared goal to understand the impacts of climate change, everyone put their heads together to learn in earnest. It's all about being curious, leaving your comfort zone, and testing out new grounds. Sometimes it's exhausting and dull, but after a nap, it's time for a smile on your face, a jump to the freezing fjord, and an occasional dance just to set up the right atmosphere to get to work. But first, we need to take a step back, or up. I think it's important for people to understand the world around them. 
The reason we are heading up into this unique rainforest is because this is where our ancient clues start their journey. Like everywhere on Earth, carbon is the basis of life. All these plants around here live and die, and carbon is part of their diet. They consume it, and also give it back to the environment. The environment then further transports it, from puddles, to streams, to waterfalls. Eventually, it makes it into the fjord. You can see the water is brown. And that is because of all the organic matter which will eventually sink and become incorporated into the sediment at the bottom of the fjord. The fjord naturally buries and stores massive amounts of carbon. Grab down. Grab down. 11.55. Careful. Watch out. This mud is precious. Sediment in here can be over 1,000 years old. And even though it doesn't smell like it, it's really, really delicate. Its muddy layers can tell us a lot about how the climate changed in the past. And knowing about the past helps us to predict the future. The rest of the team document exact coordinates, which will be important later in the lab. For now, can we be happy with the results? Are we done with saving the planet? Well, no. The collected data is important, but only a small, slimy contribution to the solution. So why is it even worth doing all this? I believe people are the solution to climate change. Humanity needs to adapt to the nature. We left one extreme and travelled to the next. The Mackenzie Basin is the driest landscape in New Zealand. The challenges that climate change presents for us are intercultural, they're interdisciplinary, um, and they're also international. Mother Nature is well connected, and we can follow her example. Together we can share knowledge. Means of change help us make connections between peoples with different backgrounds. It helps me to grow a network with people with similar interests. No matter if you're a scientist or a salmon farmer. See the similarities, see the differences, get ideas from each other about how we can combat the growing challenges and make it a truly global effort. Think of it like Natalie does. The Winds of Change program is important to me as it has allowed me to gain a better understanding of the actual science behind climate change in order to add it to sort of the policies I want to be working on in the future to mitigate this crisis. Whatever area we decide to work in, considering how our environment feels about our actions doesn't hurt. We met businesses, environmentalists, people who are currently making decisions about how we use our planet. Because we will also have to make decisions. I'm interested in thinking about how we can integrate sustainability into all dimensions of life. I want to make sustainability profitable for companies and industry. So it's a very dynamic environment. It's not static. The planet is something that affects all of us. And in order to make positive change towards creating a better planet for everyone, we need leaders, we need politicians, we need scientists, and we need a community of people who are passionate about making the world a better place. And that's what the Winds of Change program is. So join us and become part of the winds of change.